mind, mind your head. Yeah, yeah. thank you. Now, uh, of course, in the early millennia, uh, all comedy was in the oral tradition, you know, uh, with, of course, the blowjob joke. Uh, which was f not that funny initially because 50% of the population was giving them, but the blowjob joke became funny over time because with the evolution of marriage, 50% of the population wasn't. Here, we see the first early drawings of comedy in the oral tradition. We found them in the Upper Paleolithic era in Le Caux, France. We should probably go there. I am so sorry. That's, uh, that's not what I wanted to show you. Right. Watch your head here as you go. How about that picture of the blowjob? Mm. The Franklin Mint Foreskin Collection. Now you too can own a seminal piece of history. Every month a different foreskin will be mailed to your home or office. This fine pewter representation can be mounted on an attractive pecan base complete with certificate of authenticity from award-winning Moyle Rabbi Hiram Songping. Every month is another slice of history. The collection includes Albert Einstein, Aristotle, the remarkably tiny Jonas Salk, Winston Churchill, available in special two-pack, Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart, the darkly romantic foreskin of Herman Melville, John Quincy Adams, St. Thomas Aquinas, in mint condition, King Tutankhamen, pearlized penile sarcophagus extra, and artists like the Cubist Picasso, the well-worn Warhol, Georgia O'Keeffe, and the flaccid foreskin of Salvador Dali. Order now and your collection begins appropriately in March with Ulysses S. Grant. Yes! These foreskins have led the way of many a great man. The Franklin Mint Foreskin Collection. It's more than just hygienic. It's a little piece of history. Get yours today. Not intended to be an actual foreskin. Merely a representation. Not available in all states. Pewter foreskin will not expand with polishing. I'm having shop treatments. Batteries not included. Hello. I'm Michelle Plankton Rabinowitz, and this is Crime Watch. To date, your calls to our anonymous tip line have led to the arrest of over 1,500 known felons, including 25 of the FBI's 20 most wanted. Tonight, shocking, exclusive security camera footage of two gunmen who have eluded authorities for over six months and who continue to cut a swath of violence across the Midwest. Pardon me, pardon me, pardon me. I'd like to make an announcement. Please do not make any sudden or distressing movements, as this would force me to cut you all down in a hail of gunfire. This is an intricately planned bank robbery. I'm sorry, if I was unduly brusque moving through to threaten the teller, I do apologize. Uh, I realize that the majority of your banking needs are most conveniently addressed during the customary lunch hour, regrettably. Uh, my purposes are also best served during this peak customer time because the lunch hour is typically when the smallest number of banking personnel is on duty. Uh, please note that I will make every effort, every effort, move this along as rapidly as possible uh, and allow those of you that do avoid receiving any disfiguring or painful injuries adequate time to eat. Uh, before returning to your jobs. Uh, and again, please accept my deepest apologies in advance for any inconvenience uh, these proceedings may cause. And so, with those chilling words, the ordeal began. Those who survived described it as an eternity of terror. Watch now as the violence escalates. In conclusion, uh, and I do think that this certainly bears repeating, yet again, any needless heroics could very well get you shot and result in some uh, secondary damage uh, needlessly to that very lovely uh, William Morris patterned wall. Why not?
I take it from your expression that that may not have been an entirely appropriate course of action at this time? Well, now, this is a rather distressing turn of events. You see, I had just informed the patrons of this bank that any sudden or distressing movements would result in the use of deadly force. There was, in that statement, the implication that those individuals who did refrain from movement would be safe from harm. It would appear that incentive has now been subverted. A bank teller, brutally murdered, and the maniacal disdain of the savage killers. Never before in the history of recorded crime have such atrocious acts been carried out with such bloodthirsty civility. What? What? What?